Robert, first of all, how do you feel about this fight? I mean, you, got, you find a guy who says a big puncher, the southpaw. What do you think? Well, you know, he, he is a big puncher, and uh, and the fight's not easy. He's a very, you know, undefeated uh, world champion. He's uh, hungry to to become a star here in the United States, so we got to be well prepared. You know, he's lefty, so, you know, we got to come up with good good game plan, great sparring partners to be able to be in great shape because the fight won't be easy. So we got to be ready for, for 12 rounds of hard hard fighting. Do you see this fight ending in a knockout? Because Mikey got power, too. This guy has power. Do, do you see going the distance, Robert? Do you anticipate this fight ending before? Look. The fight could end quick if if one of one you know if if whichever one lands a hard punch it could end you know it's obviously Mikey has tremendous power but so does so does Dejan so you know we can underestimate him that's why I'm telling you know we got to be ready for 12 rounds because it could go the 12 rounds but it definitely could end early. Mikey Garcia, Mikey Garcia is a free agent. What? How much is the signing bonus you need to sign with someone? Look, I don't think Mike is looking at a signing bonus, uh, you know, or else he would have already got it. You know, I know that we never, you know, there was there was a lot of interest in Mayweather, but uh, we never even asked Mayweather what Mike is looking for. Mayweather never even offered anything, so we just let it go. You know, we we, didn't, we weren't looking for that. You know, if, if he was to offer, then he would have made an offer. You know, we didn't want him to know that that we were desperate looking for, for a promoter because Mikey doesn't need one. You know, Richard Schaefer is very interested too, and Richard Schaefer knows what he's doing. He's probably probably the best option for Mikey right now, but uh, but we're not going to tell him we want to sign with him unless he unless he want, unless he comes to us with with something reasonable for Mikey. If not, we just continue fighting the, the way Mikey is. You know, Mikey's got the, the you know short term behind him. It looks like Al Heyman is also very interested. So why would we need to sign with a promoter when Mikey could could be his own promoter? You know, Mikey's already starting his promotional license and uh, maybe not to promote his own fights because those are huge fights, huge fights, and we need somebody like Schaefer or or our big promoters to be able to do it. But little by little, Mikey. Mikey's doing it, you know. Mikey, Mikey doesn't doesn't need to be uh, under anybody unless it's something that's definitely worth it. Did Bob Aaron actually pursue a promoter, or as, as opposed to taking your time? Look, what Mikey learned uh, from from all this last two and a half years, you know, when he was in in, in the legal battle with with Bob Aaron, Mikey learned a lot. So that's why Mikey's not gonna. Mike is not going to just sign right away with anybody, like I said, unless it's very well worth it. You know, uh, most of the times, promoters uh, get the, the you know the big money from from the big TV networks and uh, the gay, the international rights sponsors, uh, uh, the gate, and and uh, and the fighters don't don't make as much money. You know, Mikey already knows all that. So now. Now that Mikey is in control of his career, especially if he if he wins this title, you know Mikey Mikey will be making all the money, just like you know, just like Cotto did uh, one time. De La Hoya did the same. Uh, Mayweather did the same. I think Mikey wants to do the same. As I as I told Mikey Garcia a few moments ago, he's literally on the cusp of being a megastar. Speaks English well. Speaks English well. Good looking kid. Dresses like Floyd Mayweather. <laughs> Who is the stepping stone in your eyes? I, I, I know you guys sit at home. I don't know if you want to talk about it now, but who is the stepping stone fight that you foresee in Mikey Garcia's career that says, you know what, pay-per-view is our next fight? I don't, I don't, I don't think it'll happen, because of, especially because of the legal battle that Mikey had. But I would love to, I would love to get Pacquiao in front of Mikey uh, at 140, because I hear he doesn't want to fight at 147. But he's the champion at 147, so we wouldn't mind doing it uh, at a catch weight, maybe you know, 42, 43. That'd be the ideal fight. I would love it. I'm not saying it'll happen, but you know, I'm still working with Top Rank. They they all still give me a lot of good fights. I have a lot of fighters fighting for Top Rank. I'm still signing fighters with Top Rank. So uh, so if they want to work something out with me, Mikey's a free agent. You know, if they don't want to talk to Mikey, they can talk to me. Uh, that's a fight that I would love to. You know, because uh, it it won't be easy, but that would be the challenge for Mikey. That would be the fight that makes Mikey that pound for pound uh, pay per view star.